How's it going guys? We uh, made it back to the house. Um, Z's a little dirty. We're gonna get the interior cleaned up and finally paint the front bumper, side skirt, rear bumper. We have two front fenders and get this thing 100% complete and ready or I'll just 100% together and not looking so, you know, dirty I guess. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, it's a couple days after the drift event. Uh, I've already kind of worked on the Z a little bit. I got the uh, got the fenders kind of, just kind of rattle can the front fenders and the A-pillar cover. It is not even close to being a good match. But you know it works. Like I said, it's supposed to be a little cheap um, thrash vehicle, something that I'm not going to care about, but I'm already starting to care way too much about the car. So, I am about to finish putting it together. I've been riding around with the uh, the side skirts and rear and front bumper in my truck for a while now. So, today I'm going to get them out, get them cleaned up, and just rattle can them white. Alright guys, uh, we're in the shop. Um, Weather's kind of taking a turn for the worst, so we're having some bad weather outside right now. I'm not going to let it stop me. I'm going to get some stuff moved around in the garage, and I need to protect my bike, uh, protect some of the RC stuff, things like that. And uh, we're still going to get this stuff painted. But we got it all cleaned up, just kind of scuffed up with like a scotch bright. the front bumper that I have you can see it's got that crack in it as I don't really care this is gonna be a show car it's just gonna be a car for me to go and have fun with so you can kind of see there's like some some scratches and stuff like that that probably should be sand or you know sand it out but I don't want to go through that kind of headache because like I said this is just going to be a car for me to go and learn how to drift with so don't put a lot of effort and time into it. Um, to, to put, oh, geez, I would like not to rattle can it, but I don't have the time, the place, the finances right now to actually paint it with automotive paint. Even though I do have automotive paint, I don't just. I might go back later once the car is all together and complete, and paint the whole entire car once it's together, so the color will actually 100% match, and it'll be painted with automotive paint and look really good. But for now, I'm tired of the car not having bumpers and side skirts. It's driving me crazy. And the weather's cold, so I don't mess with painting and doing body work and stuff. So it's getting rattle can put together. Maybe once the weather warms up, we'll take care of it and actually paint the car and make it look nice. But for now, this is just the way it's going to be. Something quick, easy. So. All right, I'm gonna get some stuff covered up and protected, and then I'm gonna spray these things, get the car in here, and hopefully bolt all this stuff on, so. All right, we got them all uh, wiped down with some mineral spirits. I'm gonna tape the grill. I don't know if it'd be easier just to go ahead and paint it and then paint the grill black later. Uh, I'll probably just go ahead and mask it off and then paint everything white, leave it. Just the whatever color it is, it's kind of like faded black. <laughs> but and this front bumper is just trashed. It has, you're probably going to make it out, it has like so many little rock chips in it. It is ridiculous. Back bumper is looking pretty good. It's got a few little bad spots, but should be all right. Side skirts. That's got those scratches. I didn't even take the little stone protecting stuff off. But you know, like I was saying, I don't want to invest a lot of time into this project because I have other projects that I'd rather be finishing, like either one of my FDR X7s. So I'm gonna waste the time to do a paint job correctly and nice on any car. It's not gonna be the 350Z. It's gonna be you know the Montego FD or my white FD. If I ever get a roll cage put in it, which I'm almost at the point where I'm just by like, I don't even want a roll cage. So. 
So that might happen in the next video. I might go ahead and throw that thing together and just have it running and driving and be done with it because I'm tired of seeing that thing sit around, especially when I have every single part I need except for getting a cage in it and getting it painted. So, yeah. But anyway, um, yeah. So I'm about to go ahead and rattle can these parts shamefully and just put the car together and the, like, so the next video will be a breakdown on the cost and everything like that. I'm not gonna bore y'all the details on how to spray paint something because I mean, let's face it, you just spray paint it. <laughs> but yeah, I did sand, or not sand, but just rough these parts up like a scotch Brite, and uh, just wipe them down to make sure they're clean. And we're gonna paint it. And this is all, so like, I can get the car together and do like a quickie kind of paint job on it where you know you basically just paint the car when it's all together you just mask off your windows and tail lights and door handles and all that stuff and this will basically make sure there's no you know like on the side skirts um, like if you look right here this is inside the door so if i put the side skirt on and paint the car you know this isn't going to get painted white and basically up under the car too if i crawl up on the car and saw that red it would actually drive me crazy so if the car makes it through, you know, a couple of events and I don't get any kind of damage and I have my other car projects going and they're kind of getting some, or gaining some ground, we might paint it, but uh, it'd be nice if I could just paint them all at once too. You know, I got the Montego car that needs to be painted, which I'm not gonna paint that. I think I'm gonna wrap it. I'm gonna wrap that car like a really dark blue. So, but the 300ZX, that thing's not going anywhere. It needs to be painted. The, 350Z, it needs to be painted. It's not going anywhere. The white FD definitely needs to be painted. So, and they're all being painted white. So it'd be kind of cool if I could set up a paint booth in a garage and just knock them all out and just get them all painted. That'd be awesome, so. Anyway, for now, that's how we're doing it. I'm about to rattle can these things and put her together. <laughs> but I guess, I'll get it done real quick. All right, it's getting pretty early in the morning. I'm trying to fight through this to get this done for cars and coffee in the morning. But um, I think I can do it. Like I said, we got, uh, this is a mess. <laughs> don't, don't do this to your car. But anyway, let's uh, flip this around real quick. But like I said, the weather's nasty outside, so I can't paint. So it's pretty much what I have to deal with. Um, I got so many projects that need to be finished. Um, I need to get some stuff moving. So once I do this, get this car together, it'll pretty much be done. And I can live with it and just drive it around. I think they need like one more coat on them. This front bumper has like so much damage, like rock chips and stuff like that. And like fracture cracks in it. It's got that big crack right there. Like I said, I'm not trying to make a show car. I'm just trying to make a little track car. So, got that little spot right there. Another one right there. So, I figured it would be easier to go ahead and paint the bumper white and then mask um, off the bumper and then just paint the grill back black. So. Because I didn't really care, you know, I just like I said, set them on the ground and uh, just went at it, you know, and it, you know, like I said, I just want the, don't really care about the quality, which may sound bad, but I just need it to be all one color. Well, white. This is going to be like three different colors of white, the way it looks, but I just want the car, you know, I just want the car to look normal-ish. It's, you know, you're going down the road at, you know, 45, you know, so I can't ride around with, like missing body panels. It drives me crazy. So, yep, this will make it look like a normal-ish car. So maybe later in the summertime, like I said, we might fix it. I doubt it. But anyway, I'm going to hit these things one more coat, let them dry for, yeah, I don't know, about an hour. And, uh might go ahead and throw this stuff on because I don't want to go to Carl's and Coffee with uh, no side skirts, a front bumper, and rear bumper. So, all right, I'm give it a shot and try to fight through it and get it done. All right, these are the uh, reverse lights and like turn signal 
plastic on the bumper. I'm uh, inside the house real quick. Just sprayed them off with some water. You can kind of see it's got like some kind of... I don't even know what that is. Maybe like some kind of tent or something that someone tried to spray on there. I don't know. But yeah, I just kind of clean them real quick with some soap and water. And I'm going to wet sand these things real quick and see if we can shine them up a little bit. Once again, you know, I'm not trying to make a show car, but I mean, that just looked horrible, so any improvements can be better than that. All right, that took a little bit of effort. Uh, I don't know what that stuff is, but it was on there pretty good. This is the one right here. Got like a little spot right there. Might try to get that out of there. But you can kind of see it's like cloudy. We'll fix that in a second. But that was a uh, wet sanding with a um, thousand thousand grit and we're going to move on up until we get it pretty good and then we're going to hit with a little bit of polish and this thing will look brand spanking new yeah I'm going to try to get that one little spot out though. looks like it might be like some little little mark or something but anyway it's going to look way better than having that black stuff on it so alright just got done hitting it with some uh, some 1500. So like I said, it's looking pretty good. And this guy right here, as you can see, you can still see a little mark where that stuff was. I have no idea what it was, but it's kind of almost like it etched the plastic a little bit. So I could probably keep sanding and get that out, but um, I really don't. Like I said, I'm not trying to get a show car out of this, but these are the ones I have over here. Um, so I don't feel like going back over to the other place to grab the ones that I have that I think are actually in pretty good shape. So I'll probably just sew those off, clean these up, and use these, but they're turning out pretty good. So about to hit them real quick with a little bit of polish. And uh, see how they turn out. Okay, that's about all the effort I'm willing to put into these things. As you can kind of see, it's a pretty big improvement. I mean, you can do this with headlights and stuff like that. I wish I had the patience to get that little line out. But, like I said, these kind of sit back in the bumper, so I don't even think you'd be able to see that. And if you can, that's not going to be the worst spot of the car, so it doesn't really matter. All right, we'll finish this guy right here and go ahead and throw him on the car. All right, guys, it's pretty much going to wrap up the 350Z for now. Um, there's still like one or two little things I want to do to it. I need to put like uh, the badges back on the car. I do have, I think I'm missing like one of the ones that go on the fender. But uh, yeah, I want to paint those black and kind of put them back on the car. Uh, but I'll flip the camera around and so the weather's still really bad outside so can't really get any good you know good footage of it but i'll flip the camera around and show y'all how the spray <laughs> the rattle can job come out it's not too bad like so this is basically just a little missile car something for me to go practice in so i wasn't really expecting or wanting it to be perfect like so the front bumper i have you know it's kind of screwed up so it is what it is it's one color well almost one color so <laughs> but as you can see there's definitely you know a paint you know the different shades of white but I got to paint uh, the grill black I figured it'd be easier to go ahead and paint the whole thing white and then go back and paint that black so I'm gonna get a front lip for the car eventually but you can kind of see right here where the bumpers messed up kind of scratch the paint off right there but there's like a lot of little a lot of little chips and stuff and like stress or you know uh, stress cracks in the front bumper like there's crack there there's crack there you can kind of see the difference but side skirts rear bumper so, I got to do the little, uh, what do they call it, the little bumper tuck.
And I probably should like touch up the fenders because it kind of got some stuff like coming through. But yeah, it's still ugly, but it's all together. So going down the road, you really don't see, you know, going down the road, it's really not that big of a difference. So that's kind of all I wanted. But for the most part, the car is all together. Like I said, I will do like one or two little cosmetic things, but nothing major. I did pick up a wing for it. I might throw that on there. I'd like to get like a roof spoiler, maybe like some different wheels. So I don't want to put too much time and money into this thing right now because I want to get the FDs together. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Z for now. I think the next video I might do like a breakdown of like the cost I have in this car, which is really, really low. But it turned out pretty good. I'm really happy with it. Like I said, it's something I can drive every day, get some practice you know sliding and stuff like that so but i would have to say my favorite is the interior because when you're in the car driving you know you forget how ugly it is but it's full interior it's it's nice so i'm, I'm happy with the car jeez about to drop this thing all over the place but anyway, that's it for now. Um, hope you guys will subscribe, stick around. We got some interesting stuff coming up. Um, finally, we'll get some, you know, wrench time with wrench, wrenching time <laughs> on the FDRX7s, uh, the LS car and the rotary car. So, yep, that's it for now. Like I said, I hope you guys will stick around. And uh, like always, appreciate the support and see you on the next one.